Hi everyone, you're having a tools with James and today we are checking out the cutoff tool by Ryobi. Let's jump in and take a closer look. Okay, so the cutoff tool from Ryobi. Um, I've owned this one now for about six months. Uh, gave it a fair bit of work, um, to be fair. And why did I buy this tool? So I wanted something that was an in-between um, a little Dremel tool that I've got, so for finer works. Um, but you know, not quite as big as my four inch grinder um, that I've got and I guess enter this tool and um, I'll be honest, this is the tool that I've gone to now. I, I, I seldom get my uh, four inch grinder out now that I've got this little cutoff wheel. It seems to do uh, most things that I need it to do in this sort of range. Um, the tool itself um, from Ryobi, and I know you can get them in a bunch of brands, but uh, I bought this one because I was on the platform uh, at the time buying a lot of these tools and uh, super happy with uh, with this little machine and uh, hence why I want to show you guys it today. I'll go through the specs of the machine and I'll give you a bit of a look at it in action. So it's uh, as, as it suggests, it's a cutoff tool. So it runs cutoff wheels. It runs 76 millimeter um, tools, uh, so wheels in it. And uh, I've got a Milwaukee one in there at the moment. Doesn't matter what brand you buy. Uh, the tool itself uh, is re retails Australian for 199, no battery. Uh, I've got a two amp battery here today to give you a bit of a demo. Um, seems to run fine um, with the two amp on it. Um, you could run the heavier one, but it probably removes the handiness of the tool itself. Um, the tool goes in forward and it does have on the front of the tool, the arrows, um, arrow to F, arrow to R, so forward and reverse. And you've got this little toggle switch on the inside here that you probably experienced on your drills. And as you flick that back across and a forward, it'll change the way that the wheel turns. So dead set easy. Uh, the tool itself has got LEDs on the top and on the bottom, um, which is really good because sometimes you'll find yourself working down and you need the light shining up that way. Other times you'll have the tool up this way and you need the light shining in front. So uh, they've thought of that. The casing itself is that, that probably come to, you know, expected on most tools now and especially in some Milwaukee stuff and, you know, the tools like that. It's got this rubberized finish, so it's got uh, nice and durable. It actually feels really rugged in the hand, which I like. And you don't often get that in all the Ryobi stuff. Um, it's also got this little guardrail here, um, which you can change your depth. Um, I found that this was really handy when you're up this way. If you want to run down, you know, a chalked line, um, this really helps. I also found myself from time to time taking this off, um, depending on what type of, of work I'm doing, but I found that that's really handy as well. Um, I suppose I'll show you how the thing uh, works. So it's a variable speed motor on it and uh, brushless. We love the brushless HP ones. They've got uh, all the power uh, and the battery life is, uh, is better because we've got a more efficient motor. Um, but really cool, the variable speed on this and it's really easy to control. I'll give you a bit of a look through the speed. So here we go. full noise there. So you can see it's actually reasonably quiet um, for what it is. So um, yeah, good little tool. Um, I'll show you some of the blades that you can use. So I've got a cutoff wheel in there at the moment. Uh, it does come with a tile cutter wheel, which is this one here. It's for cutting tiles uh, and cement. I've actually used that for cutting cement sheet. It goes through it like butter. I haven't tried it on tiles, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work. So that comes with it. Um, you get, you also get a pipe and plastic cutting one, so drywall and plastic. And it's got that really like rough abrasive um, finish on it, which is uh, a nice cutting wheel. Uh, and then I've gone through a bunch of these and I've, I've just bought the Milwaukee ones because that's what I could see in the, in the shop, but um, cutting little bits of aluminium, um, you know, making gutters up for a house or something like that, super, super handy. Um, you know, if you're into auto and all that type of stuff for just notching little, you know, bits and pieces out of your work. This is just a super, super handy tool. I'm um, even cutting things like pipe. Um, I did a job the other day cutting up um, some balustrade cabling. This has just become my go-to. It's just super, super easy. And these wheels are what I, uh, what I use. The other thing, I've, uh, I've done a stack stone wall as well, and I found that this was great for cut it, doing the intricate cuts uh, when it comes to, you know, working around power points and stuff like that with your, uh, with your stack stone. And uh, I've actually bought these Milwaukee discs, these abrasive discs, discs and these ones here uh, work with this little machine here, fantastic. I'll give you a little bit of a demo. Uh, but they're the discs, uh, very, very good. 
Um, have I missed anything? Yes, so changing over the, the blades is dead set easy. So I've just taken the battery out for safety reasons. You get the Allen key in the machine under here, which I like that because you know if you're out on a job, you don't want to have to go and rub, rummage back through your, uh, your toolkit to find it. So you got this, all you do, button on top, hold it in, one Allen key, turn it anti-clockwise, unscrew. And you've got these little, uh, these little three quarter eight inch flanges like that. So they can only go in one way. So you can't get it wrong, which we like. There's one on the back as well. All right, so you just marry that up. Say I wanna go and cut some stacked stone. Off I go. Flange on. And on that way, yep. Screw him in there. And tighten him up. And there we go. We're ready to go and cut stack stone so that easy i'll give you a bit of a demo of the tool in use um, so let's go And there you go, a bit of a look at the Ryobi cutoff wheel tool in action. And as you can see, it ripped through the plastic uh, like it wasn't there and uh, the metal flashing did a really nice job of that too. And you can get really precise and uh, nice clean cuts with it. Uh, the stack stone works well. I did use the, uh, the tile cement uh, disc that you get with the machine to give you a bit of a look at how the actual disc of the machine works. Works well, um, obviously for the smaller cuts that you might do, you'd probably stick to the grinder, um, you know, for the, for the bigger jobs, but for the intricate cuts, this is your friend. Um, so yeah, great little tool. Um, I've got a quite a big reno job coming up uh, that's gonna in, in, involve me making a lot of box garters and that type of thing. Uh, and this, this is gonna be just a ticket. Probably the only build that I do have, or the only thing, the dislike I suppose, is the way the Ryobi batteries are all massive. Like they're all huge. It would be really great to get um, probably a little bit like the Milwaukee ones with the battery that goes in the handle. It's more of a pistol grip. Probably just make this a little bit more compact and. Um, you know, a little lighter in the hand because I think it, I think it weighed about 900 grams without the battery. And obviously, depending on what battery you put in it, will be the weight. But yeah, that would have been a nice addition, but you know, only a small gripe on that one. Really good tool. Uh, that is the review. So thanks for watching. And uh, you know, if you do enjoy this type of uh, tool review, please consider subscribing to the channel. Comments, likes, all that type of thing really helps the channel grow. Uh, and I appreciate you all uh, to the subscribers that I do have. Uh, thank you all for subscribing and, uh, and supporting my channel. Uh, but you've been Home Alone Tools. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.